When some folks think of Scandinavian design, IKEA is probably one of the first things that come to mind. But for me, the minimalistic Nordic aesthetic evokes images of items like the famed egg chair and the striking architecture of the Sydney Opera House. Well, bold lines and standout design is what you'll find in my latest smartwatch review. Danish smartwatch manufacturer Skagen just dropped the Mjolnir on us with their new Falster Gen 6 line. And for minimalist timepiece lovers and fashion aficionados, it is a sight to behold. The device falls under the Fossil Group umbrella and internally is very similar to the Fossil Gen 6, which I briefly talked about in a previous review here on the channel. Today, we'll dive deeper into what the Falster and the Fossil Group have to offer. Give us sleep! You know, I get mistaken for the descendant of a Viking all the time. I figure it's the beard and all the images of what Viking gods look like in pop culture. Sorry about that. But when you look at the Skagen Falster, you definitely won't be mistaking this timepiece for any other smartwatch currently on the market. Though there is a bit of similarity to the Moto 360, upon closer inspection, the differences are abundantly clear. The round, one-piece, bezel-less body gives you two customizable push buttons with a rotating home button between them. The watch's lugs are sleek and have an artistic flair to them as opposed to a thick, rugged-looking build. More like something you'd wear with a tux or gown than on the mountaintop, though with its specs, it should be equally at home there as well. The Falster is available in a few different colors with a few different strap combinations. 20 millimeter is the order of the day for lug sizing. On their site, you'll see charcoal and black case colors in addition to the striking silver tone stainless steel mesh variant I've had in the lab for a few weeks for review. I have to say, I am quite enamored if you couldn't already tell. The body of the Falster is a conscientious choice in creating a look accessible for a broad audience with its 41 millimeter stainless steel case, which gives the watch a good solid heft without feeling unnecessarily heavy. 41 millimeters places it in between some of Fossil Group's other watch body sizes in its Gen 6 lineup. Those two pushers I mentioned previously can be customized and the crown in the middle, which is a pusher, also rotates so you can access your apps and then scroll through that list. You can also use that scroll wheel to navigate through most apps on the watch as well. Of course, the regular swiping through the interface works for navigation. My only complaint, which will be solved soon, according to my colleague Derek Lee, is that you can't rotate the watch so those buttons are pointing toward your body instead of your wrist. I accidentally activated Google Assistant a few times wearing it a tad loose on my left arm like jewelry instead of really snug like a fitness watch. Compared to the styling of the Fossil Gen 6, the minimalist styling of the buttons complements the aesthetic as well. And the only thing more beautiful than the minimalist design is the bright, crisp, 1.28 inch AMOLED 326 pixel per inch display. Can we take a moment here to appreciate just how sharp this display is? Unlike some of their competitors, many of the watch faces which come stock with the Falster are minimalist in their appearance, even when they give a solid amount of data on screen. Usually I find my favorite watch face pretty quickly when I'm reviewing a device, but this display is so gorgeous and these watch faces designed so well to fit the Falster's aesthetic that I've had a hard time choosing. I even customized the colors of the digital four face to match the yellow and red of the DC Comics villain Reverse Flash. Or, or is that Zoom? Only time can tell. Hashtag no jokes. And let's zoom in on the internals of this beautiful timepiece. Why do I care about that, Tashaka, you ask? Well, because this Gen 6 device has Snapdragon's 4100 Plus processor in it, which means that it's eligible for Wear OS 3 update at some point this year. When you ask? No data's been given yet. 
That new processor also means the Falster is more efficient with better battery life than previous gen devices. Internally, you're also going to get eight gigabytes of storage and one gigabyte of memory. You'll need that storage because even though this watch isn't rocking Wear OS 3 yet, you can download music to it from either YouTube Music or Spotify with the premium subscription. Rounding out the spate of sensors internally is the addition of a new SPO2 sensor, which is great to have given today's precarious pandemic goings on. So what is it like to actually use this watch? Well, even with Heimdall's eyes, I couldn't see this coming. Generally, I love using my fitness watches for everything in my life, from connecting with my voice assistant to setting timers and reminders, occasionally taking a call from my wrist if my hands are full and I can't reach for my phone, and tracking my workouts and casual exercise, you know, things like going for a walk with the dog. It was the last one I found myself not wanting to do as much here. The watch is so pretty, it feels like my Sunday driver. You know, that car, that prized possession that you only take out for those lazy meandering weekend road trips or special occasions. We all have one of those, right? Though, though, though it handles just fine, I was just concerned with bumping the display or marring the body somehow, despite the fact that stainless steel is quite durable. Given my aversion here, it's quite fitting that though Fossil has added their own fitness software, it and Google Fit are fairly basic when compared to some competitors. But in this case, that actually works. This isn't a watch I want to wear for a hit or rope climbs. I want to wear it to the Met Gala or date night when I'm trying to wine and dine the missus and, you know, look my most dashing, kind of like I do now. Just know that if you do want to actually go dashing, around the local track or track your sleep, you'll still be able to get that done and you'll still get some nice graphs and data to track your progress. My only gripe with Google Sleep is that I want to be able to set my bedtimes and have everything on the watch black out from there based on that schedule. Instead, the lack of a bedtime mode means I set my sleep in one place, then when it's time to go to bed, I have to either go by the do not disturb settings I've set up or if I'm sleeping alone or hit theater mode on my watch to black out the display at night so that I don't flash my wife when I toss and turn, this thing gets bright. On the upside, and serious pro tip here, I haven't seen anyone talk about this little hack. Hit settings, smart battery, tap on daily, then customize, scroll down to where it says Bluetooth and you'll notice that you can set a schedule for when Bluetooth is active. I have it set to be active during my waking hours. This saves battery life because once you configure it, the watch only syncs with your phone during that scheduled time. You're welcome. And if you do wear this watch to bed to track your sleep, it's good to know that the other feature that is improved from last year is the charging. I get around a day and a half out of the watch, so I end up charging every morning while I get ready for work. The good news though is that within an hour, I can charge this watch up from almost dead to 100%. That's because the proprietary charging puck, no wireless charging here, is now a four pin affair as opposed to last year's two pin charger. Also, while you wait the short time to top up, you can watch this fetching animation. And another note, also different from last year is the charging contacts on the back of the watch body. Glued in for previous years, there were complaints from users that they came undone, but this year they're built into the body, which should make them more durable. And you know what else has a strong showing this year? Your options under the Fossil Group for these Gen 6 devices. Between Michael Kors, the main Fossil smartwatch, and the Skagen watches, your bases are covered quite well, no matter your style, and the pricing is pretty competitive given the brand name tags often associated with designer goods. All in all, I think the Skagen Foster is absolutely worth a look, and I can definitely recommend it. It's beautiful. It's smart, it looks great on most wrists, and it charges faster than most smart watches on the market. It ticks many boxes, or as the Danes like to say, Sla de Fleur met smack. Indeed it does. Indeed it does. Sorry about that.